Oh my God, what a day. So <laughs> about 30 minutes ago, um, a Tesla Model Y Juniper left the end of the production line in Austin, Texas, and it proceeded to drive by itself with no human in the vehicle at all. It was not remotely controlled by anybody anywhere. It was not in a geofenced area. There was no control over the vehicle at all, except that somebody punched in an address and that car was delivered to the new owner of the vehicle at their home. Now I'm not going to repeat that again. Just rewind the video. Yes, and you heard it right. This car drove by itself from the factory in Austin, Texas. Tesla Model Y went to a customer. Now that's the first time that that has ever happened on the planet in the history of the world that has never happened before now if that's not a one small step for man one giant leap for mankind moment then I really don't know what is now I've been doing videos about Tesla for a while I've been an investor in Tesla since 2017. I'm not as knowledgeable as many of the people out there who talk about Tesla. But we knew this day was coming. We knew it. And by the way, it's a day early. Today, as I'm recording this, it's June 27th, 2025. This was supposed to happen tomorrow on Elon Musk's birthday. But in typical Elon fashion, you know, obviously he was consulting with the team or somebody came to the him and said, okay, we're ready to go. We're all scheduled for tomorrow. And he's like, probably said something like, wait, we're ready to go. Just send the damn thing. Why do we have to wait for tomorrow? Because guess what? He doesn't need... <laughs> He certainly, I guarantee you, <laughs> he didn't call the mainstream media. And he certainly didn't call, oh God, I, I'm so disgusted with the mainstream media. Um, what he did was he put a post on X. And then, of course, at that moment, the whole world knows now <laughs> I I'm actually speechless I would not have been able to make this video 30 minutes ago because I actually when the news broke I was on X I was in a spaces and the news broke as we were having a conversation uh, we were actually having a conversation about Tesla uh, the Optimus robot and the news broke that this had happened. And uh, believe me when I tell you that there were a bunch of men and women in there. You know, we can't see each other's faces in those spaces. But I actually put a post on on, uh, on the, the chat, the group chat there. And I said, we need uh, a specific emoji for our X spaces when we talk about Tesla of uh, a man, in my case, a man with tears streaming down the side of his, you know, the front of his face, tears of joy. So we need an emoji for that, Elon, if you're listening, or Linda Yaccarino, if you're listening. So, yeah, what a huge day. Now, where do we go from here? Of course, the haters will say, yeah, big deal. You have to live in Austin to get your car. Well, yeah. But Joe Tegmeyer, who does 
drone videos of of uh, Giga Te Texas in Austin just about every day. Recently, he has been posting videos of an area, a corner of the outbound lot, which is where the, the vehicles scheduled for delivery go to before they're delivered. And he has an area there where there was, I want to say there was about 20, uh, maybe more, maybe less, big, huge transport trucks, automobile transport trucks, lined up in a, in a row there. Now, there's much speculation as to what that's for. You know what I think? I think that what they will do is, let's say you live in Cleveland, or let's say you live in Boise, Idaho, or let's say you live in uh, you know White Plains, New York, or uh, Ridgefield, Connecticut, or wherever it is. Pick a, pick a city. Not necessarily a big city, but just pick a city. I believe the plan going forward at some point will be to load those vehicles for these specific areas onto those transport trucks. They will then drive to maybe the outskirts of those cities. And then those cars will come off that rig and they will then drive to the customer's homes within a specific mile radius, within a specific zip code. And I'll tell you, the city I live in right now, I just see more and more Model Ys every day. So I can guarantee a lot of people in this area are buying them. So how many people in this town tomorrow maybe are going to Savannah, Georgia to pick up their Model Y? 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, 100, I don't know. But it sure would be cool if they could just bring that truck here and park it somewhere and then just have the vehicle come to their houses. Do you have any idea how this is going to change? You know, we all know that the dealership model is going away. It's completely unnecessary. Tesla changed that with the buy online and then just pick up at your local service center. No need to deal with a salesman. No need to deal with any of this crap. And no need to have two, three, four, five, six hundred vehicles sitting in a big giant grass field behind a dealership that are not selling and have this enormous amount of wasted space. Space, by the way, that costs an enormous amount of money. That model is gone. Nobody wants it anymore. And nobody wants fancy wiper blades and nobody wants, you know, <laughs> fancy air in their tires. They don't want all that crap. Just give me a car. Give me a couple of options. Give me white seats or black seats or gray seats. You know, give me a couple of styles of wheels. Give me five or six decent colors. And you know what? If I don't like the colors that you have, I'm buying it anyway. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my local guy and I'm going to get it wrapped. Then I can have my own exclusive color. There's no need for dealerships any, anymore. There's no need for 15 or 20 or 30 or 60 or 100 different variations of stupid crap inside a vehicle that nobody ever needed anyway. You know, in the restaurant business, we call those upsells. You know, it's like at the end of your meal. Would you like dessert? Are you sure? We have really good apple pie. It's the best in town. You should really have it. That's called an upsell. And you do that for a few reasons. Number one, for the server, the main reason they're doing that is to get you to buy something else so it increases the, the, uh, the amount of the check, which automatically increases their tip amount. And of course, it helps the house. Because the house makes more money, more profit, you know, equals a better environment, a better business, better for the employee, their job is more guaranteed, they're making more money, blah, 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 blah. Tesla doesn't do that. You know why? Because they don't have salesmen. They don't need to do that. They just offer you to. Here it is. And now, now, they will deliver it to your house. Try to get your head around that for a minute. 
This is going to change the entire world. But we also found out today that the robo taxi, which I talked about in the video yesterday, the robo taxi has a little different screen or different options on the screen, I guess, if you will, than you know your standard Model Y, which is very easy to change, by the way. It has different modes. So you actually have a robo taxi mode. So I can be driving around in my car or let's say I'm going to meet somebody in another town. Let's say it's a busy town. Let's say it's around 4.30 or 5 o'clock. But I'm meeting my friend and we're going to go out to dinner and we're going to be hanging out for about two hours or two and a half hours or three hours. Or maybe we're going to a movie or maybe we're going to a meeting. I can then get out of my car, push the button for robo taxi mode and send my car off to work while I'm sitting in the restaurant with my friend. My car will be making money for me when I work. You know, there's gotta be people watching this video going, this guy is so full of crap. This has not even happened. What the hell is he talking about? What is he talking about? How does YouTube allow these wackos on their platform to tell all this lies to people about how cars are driving themselves and Tesla are delivering autonomous cars. There's no people in the car. How does this guy get away with this crap? It's happening. It happened today. It happened 30 minutes ago. We know because we've been following this for years and years and years. And that day has finally come. Elon Musk is the genius of our time. He is the genius of our time. And the media won't talk about it because he's coming for everybody. And you know who's going to benefit from what he's doing? You are and I am. Because in the very near future, the cost of transportation for you is going to drop. It's not going to increase. We're not going to be talking about inflation in transportation six months from now or a year from now or two years from now. We're going to be talking about deflation. We're going to be talking about the cost of everything coming down because there is no cost or very little cost in delivery. We are going to benefit from this. The planet is going to benefit from this. We have corners of the world who, again, thanks to Elon Musk and Starlink, are for the first time in their lives getting access to the outside world through Starlink, through service that comes magically from the sky. They said he wouldn't be able to do that either. They said he wouldn't be able to build an electric car. They said he wouldn't be able to send a rocket to Mars. Guess what? I know one got a little scratch on it last week. We're going to Mars. Don't kid yourself. In fact, one of the conversations, oh, sorry, now I remember, the conversation we were having actually when the news broke was there was, a, there was a little pushback from one of the people in the spaces that says, there's no way we're going to get to Mars this fast. It's not going to happen. And then a couple of seconds later, they released this. They released this car to go to a customer's house. And that guy who had said we were going to Mars came back on and he says, so you guys still think it's possible that we're going to go to Mars really soon and there's going to be Optimus robots on the rocket and he's just going to drop them off there and put them to work? Can't argue after that. It happened. To me, it is the most exciting time to be alive on this planet. There are changes coming that are going to blow your mind. Elon Musk is one of the people behind those changes. You need to understand this. And you need to start embracing the fact that he is probably 
the greatest humanitarian in the history of Earth. What a day today is. What a day today is. Anyway, do yourself a favor. Go on X. All the information is out there. Follow the really, really cool people on there who are posting videos of full self-driving cars. Hustle Town, shout out to you, man. You post videos all the time. Omar at Whole Mars, he posts videos all the time. Don't take my word for it. I barely know how to use an iPhone, by the way, as you can tell. I don't have some fancy camera stuff in here in my car. But I'll tell you what I do love to do. I love to talk about the guys and the girls out there who do. They're amazing. They are delivering the news that you're not getting. The main street, the mainstream media are not delivering the news to you. Most of you have no clue this is happening. No clue. And there are regular people out there that are driving around as Uber drivers and that are driving around the country in their Model S. Or you have Tesla Tino who's taken his Cybertruck all the way up to the Arctic. You have another guy, um, Josh West, who's getting ready to head up into the depths of Canada, into the middle of nowhere in a Model S. And he's going to be sending you video from there. And he'll probably have his Starlink set up. And he's going to be showing you that he has access to the Internet in one of the remotest parts of the world. The media are not telling you this because they're going to get crushed. The other reason they're not telling you this is because they make a lot of money on Ford and GM and Volkswagen and Toyota and all these companies that Tesla are coming for. Tesla is the greatest American company ever built in the history of this country. It's time for you to start paying attention. And by the way, I say this all the time. This is not investment advice. I'm not a qualified investor. I don't have credentials. But you know the funny part? The stock is down today. How funny is that? Wake up, sheep. Wake up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, please like, subscribe, share the video, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And go on X and find the people who are delivering the news to you. Because as we say on X, we are the media now. Thanks for watching.